friends welcome to my lecture myself omlan das now i am going to discuss about derivation of wien's law and rayleigh jeans law from planck's law of radiation okay wien's law and rayleigh jeans law can be derived from planck's law as a special case planck's law reduces to wien's law for short wavelengths and planck's law reduces to rayleigh jeans law for long wavelengths we first derive wien's law from planck's law of radiation okay now in terms of wavelength planck's law for black body radiation can be written as u lambda d lambda equals to 8 pi hc by lambda to the power 5 into d lambda by e to the power hc by lambda kt minus 1 okay suppose this is equation 1 so this is the energy density of radiation in the wavelength range lambda and lambda plus d lambda okay now for short wavelength for short wavelength or high frequency the exponential term in the denominator of equation 1 has a value much greater than 1 that is for small value of lambda e to the power hc by lambda kt is much greater than 1 okay so we neglect 1 in this ex expression and so equation 1 can be written as u lambda d lambda equals to 8 pi hc by lambda to the power 5 into d lambda by e to the power hc by lambda kt okay this is equals to 8 pi hc into lambda to the power minus 5 into e to the power minus hc by lambda kt into d lambda okay suppose this is equation 2 now let 8 pi hc equals to a where a is a constant and let hc by k equals to b where b is also a constant so using this equation 2 can be written as u lambda d lambda equals to a into lambda to the power minus 5 into e to the power minus b by lambda t into d lambda okay so u lambda d lambda is this and this is wien's radiation law which is an empirical formula containing two adjustable constants a and b okay so we derive wien's law from planck's law of radiation now we derive rayleigh jeans law from planck's law of radiation okay now we derive rayleigh jeans law from planck's law of radiation here again we start with planck's radiation law which in terms of wavelength is u lambda d lambda equals to 8 pi hc by lambda to the power 5 into d lambda by e to the power hc by lambda kt minus 1 suppose this is equation 1 okay now for long wavelength for long wavelength or low frequency hc by lambda kt is much less than 1 okay so the exponential term e to the power hc by lambda kt can be approximated as 1 plus hc by lambda kt okay that is here we neglect higher order terms okay so using using this equation 1 can be written as u lambda d lambda equals to 8 pi hc by lambda to the power 5 into d lambda by 1 plus hc by lambda kt minus 1 okay this is equals to 8 pi hc by lambda to the power 5 into d lambda by lambda kt d lambda by hc by lambda kt okay
So, u lambda d lambda equals to 8 pi hc by lambda to the power 5 into lambda kt by hc into d lambda. Okay. So, this is equals to 8 pi kt by lambda to the power 4 into d lambda. So, u lambda d lambda is 8 pi kt lambda to the power 4 into d lambda. So, this shows that energy density of radiation is inversely proportional to the fourth power of lambda. Okay. And this is Rayleigh Gilles law which agrees with experiment for long wavelengths. Okay. So, we derive Rayleigh Gilles law from Planck's law of radiation. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.